let's do this. All right, so first of all, uh, Dom, I know you've been to prison now, and uh, I just want to say, you know, my equipment's very expensive. Please don't try to steal any of it. All right, I've, well, I've been checked, you know, but that, that does look like a nice camera. I gotta be careful around you, prison dom, because you know you've seen you've seen the other side now. I have the other side, and I've learned to make some things. You know, I have some wine out of the toilet, and uh, a couple other things. Well, let's go ahead and jump right in then. So, like we've been talking about, prison dom, I gotta tell you, I have been loving every single thing that we've been seeing from that on Raw lately. I think people have really just really loved watching you go out there and you know do all the things that you've been doing. Coming out with the teardrop nearly killed people. Um, I did a whole little edit about you as a the cover of Grand Theft Auto. So I want to ask you, what has the experience been like? You know, really trying something new and something different. Uh, it's been awesome, you know, uh, this whole prison dom thing kind of uh, came out of nowhere, uh, getting arrested on Christmas, but it's been fun, It's it's we've been having a lot of fun with it, you know, I've been getting all the cover arts for Grand Theft Auto, and playing that as a kid, you know, I've, from Grand Theft Auto 1 all the way to 5, and just, you know, for me, that's, that was really cool being able to see that, and um, just overall being able to experience it and having fun out there with the crew, with Rhea, Finn, Damien, it's just been a blast. It has been really cool to see that. And also, there was a week that you came out with the bandana and you got only one button. Uh, were you channeling your uh, godfather, Conan? And if so, what has Conan's reaction to your work been? So initially, I didn't even put two and two together that I was paying homage to my godfather, Conan. And then I started getting tagged in things. And I was like, I was like, this is this is him. And, as soon, and he called me and he goes, I don't know if you did that on purpose. And I was like, I didn't. I was like, but I'm glad I did now. I was like, because who better than to pay homage to than, than my godfather, Conan, you know? So awesome. I love that. And now I do want to ask you because we've been seeing a shift in terms of creative the last time that you and I spoke. Uh, you know, we now are seeing Triple H run things. So for you, what has it been like to work so closely with him, especially given that you are a really huge featured aspect of Monday Night Raw? Uh, you know, it's been great. Um, for me, it's uh, it's just a blessing and, and to be a part of this whole thing, you know, and uh, to have him be uh, in our corner, just like Vince was in mine as well. And uh, it's just all different, you know. Uh, I feel like for me, it's it's a little different than everybody because I've, man, I've been around and I've known them since I was three, four, five years old. So it's uh, it's growing up with them. So I feel like they kind of they all kind of get like little nostalgic when it comes to me, you know, because I was I was a little I was a little peanut coming around, you know. But it's uh, it's been it's been a blessing. And I have to ask you, uh, you know, you're part of Judgment Day. You're there with Finn Balor, who's, you know, been, like, just incredible. Damian Priest, Rhea Ripley. What has the whole relationship been like with you guys? How, where have you gone from, like, point A when you guys first started with the Judgment Day to where you are now? What is, like, the, what's the vibe like? Honestly, my best way of describing it is we're a giant melting pot. We have an Australian, an Irishman, a Puerto Rican, and a Mexican. And somehow that works great. Right, it's just our chemistry just clicked from the beginning, um, with with all of us. You know, we kind of just all get along. We, uh, the as soon as I was in, they they put me in their group chat. So it was a uh, it was cool. It was a uh, it's just a very very family dynamic. That's when you know you've made it when you're in the group chat. Exactly. You know, as soon as they said, as soon as I I closed line my dad, I saw them and they're like, hey, join the group chat, and I was like, group chat it is. I do want to ask you about Rhea because, you know, everybody loves Rhea and you've been very, you know, you've been, it's been very fun, the relationship, the dynamic between you and Rhea. Um, what has that been like for you both, you know, on and off camera to be able to, you know, be able to work with her in that manner? Oh man, she's the best, you know, uh, she's been very helpful to me as far as like just everything that I've done is because she's, <laughs> she's been doing it longer than I have and sh she's a year older than me. So we're also in that same age group where she, uh, we kind of just get along. We like the same things. And, um, yeah, she's just been very helpful with uh, just how to use her in the ring and getting to just, like, I don't know if you saw our Royal Rumble thing, like just her helping me overall with everything. And it's just she's, she's been awesome. Awesome. Well, Dominic, I know you have a million other interviews to do, so thank you so much for chatting with me. It was nice to see you again. And good luck in the Rumble and also congratulations on your uh, recent engagement. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.